you guys welcome back to my channel for another video it's every homeschool mom's favorite time of year it's time to haul some curriculum and I want to thank the good and the beautiful for partnering with me on today's video I have a huge haul for next school year from the good and the beautiful sitting right next to me and so I'm going to share with you guys what we are gonna be using in our homeschool next year for my kids from the good and the beautiful. Next year, I will have an 11th grader, a 10th grader, an eighth grader, and a sixth grader. So we are moving along in our homeschooling journey very quickly, much faster than I would like. And so our curriculum choices from the good and the beautiful are for those older years, obviously. So before I show you guys what I ordered from The Good and the Beautiful, a few things that I wanted to mention here in this video in case you missed them. So birds and ecosystems have just been newly revised and the new additions are available for purchase on The Good and the Beautiful's website. And I also wanted to mention uh, the Good and the Beautiful's YouTube channel for kids here on YouTube. I will have a link down below. Go over and subscribe to their um, channel for kids. There are memory songs on there to help your kids remember things. There's helpful videos on blends and letter sounds as well as just really cute um, informational science type videos. So definitely make sure you're subscribed to the Good and the Beautiful's kids YouTube channel, not just their main channel, but the one for kids. Um, if you are a lover of their curriculum because it's a really fantastic free resource they have for us homeschool moms um, or even if you don't homeschool yet but you've got younger kids those preschoolers um, it's something you know educational you can turn on for them that they will love and you will too okay so now that I've shared those few things with you that link to subscribe to their channel will be down below I'm gonna show you guys my huge haul <laughs> from, oh my goodness, from the good and the beautiful. So, um, the first thing that I ordered were the eighth grade, or I guess we shouldn't say eighth grade, that's just when everyone uses them, but I guess you could use them at any time, level eight book studies. So I have um, The Touch of Magic and Abraham Lincoln, and wild like the foxes. So I got these all three for my son. Here's the books for him and my older two kids have gone through these. So this is my third guy coming in line. So we've, I've, I've checked these, I've gone over these two times before and he will be the third one doing the book studies from The Good and the Beautiful. Um, the next little chunk is gonna be science units and the book packs that go with the science units. I highly recommend the book packs, you guys. They really add so much to the science units and it's so nice to have books to read and not have to like try to go find them and, and find them yourselves, plus they're so reasonably priced. And a lot of them are the Good and the Beautiful original publications, which I love. So I got um, the newly revised Weather um, and you guys, I had a moment. I only have two student journals. Um, so yeah, the, uh, I'm having my daughter who is in the sixth grade do all of the lesson extensions for seven and eight. So there's that. And then I, of course, have weather and water, the unit. Um, I did these long, long ago. So this will be um, new, the new revised one. And then we have Changing Weather, the story of June Bacon Bercy. That is an original publication from The Good and the Beautiful. We have this one, Wind, Wild Wild Wind, same thing. Um, we have The Schoolhouse Blizzard, which is another original publication. We actually read this a few years ago. And then we have The Beauty of Weather, which is a hardcover book. And so all these books correlate with the weather and um, science unit. I always try to get at least four, sometimes five science units for a year. We love doing the unit studies. I usually will do one per quarter. We do it only two or three times a week and it's wonderful, it's not stressful, and my kids learn a ton. We've been using science from the good and the beautiful for forever and we just really love it. So the next one that I have to show you guys 
um, I was really, really excited about. And here's why. <laughs> this is one that I've not done before. I have done most of the science units. However, the older version of chemistry sat on my shelf for years because I just wanted to wait until my kids were old enough to do it. And then once the older two were old enough, then they weren't really interested. And so I thought I might wait. Needless to say, I never did that science unit. Well, the good and the beautiful revised it. So this is a five to eight science study. So this is meant for those upper years just because it is chemistry. It's a little bit more complicated. Um, I, of course, got the student journals to go with it. And then I also got the book pack, the book of elements. This is an, an original publication. Uh, Marie Curie and the story of Alice Ball all go with chemistry. So I'm really excited to dig into chemistry with my kids this year. Uh, this one here is one that we had done in the past and we really enjoyed it. But my kids were little and so I think they're going to get a lot more out of it now being that they are older and uh, can understand things more deeply. So that's the cool part is if you do it when they're younger, you can come back in a few years and it's like they've heard it before, but now it's time to add a new layer on. And that is kingdoms and classifications. So this is the three through eight science unit study that most of the good and the beautiful's um, science units are. I of course have the student journals and then I got the book pack for this as well, which is a fungi study. This is an original publication and taxonomy trivia and microbes. There's two little books in this pack. Um, so really excited for that one. And then I, I don't have this in organized fashion. Um, the next one that I wanted to show you guys, uh, I actually have four student journals for. And you might be thinking, why would you have four of those? Well, I have four kids, but my oldest two are in high school, like I told you, upper high school. However, this science unit that the Good and the Beautiful just put out on the health, health in the human mind, um, even though it says three through eight, I'm gonna have my high schoolers join us for this particular science unit, just because I think the topics in here are so important and I think it's going to open up a lot of really great conversation on this topic. Also, um, my kids have, my older kids have done health courses specifically for their uh, graduation requirements and stuff, but there wasn't a ton of emphasis on the human mind. And so I have two who are interested in that topic anyway, thinking about future careers. And so I just want to do this as a family. So don't ever think that because something says a grade level, you can't tell your older kids about it. So anyway, we're going to do this together. And then we have um, the, the books that go with this, A Penny for Your Thoughts, an original publication, The Addiction Question and Answers book, an original publication, and the amazing thing called Memory, an original publication. So I'm really excited. I know that this is gonna be the first one we do next year because I love to start our new school year with something that everyone's really excited about. So I, I'm really looking forward to that. And then, now moving away from science, I have Math 6 to share with you guys because my youngest is going to be doing Simply Good and the Beautiful Math 6. So I have both course books here, and then I have the Math Answer Key, which makes grading math and checking math an absolute breeze. We've been using Simply Good and the Beautiful Math um, for her since I think I changed over at grade three. And so this will be her third um, year using it, and we, we really love it. And so she has learned a ton and progressed, and it's really wonderful. So she's gonna be doing that. Then I have two handwriting courses for her. This is six and seven, and so she'll be going through both of those. I have the language arts level six. This is everything that it comes with. This is another one, you guys. It's so weird for me to say that I've done this language arts three times before. My kids have all used it. My oldest, my son, and now my third have gone through level six, and she'll be my last one going through level six. So I have that for her. Then I have high school um, three here and the books that go with uh, that course. So this is um, English for high school. It's their last level that the Good and the Beautiful offers. 
and the books that will be going with that. That is for my oldest son. Um, so you might be thinking, well, what about your oldest daughter? Well, my oldest daughter is actually dual enrolling in college for the fall. And one of the courses she's going to be taking is her English course. So she is not going to be using um, uh, English or language arts from the good and the beautiful for that reason, just because it's time for her to dual enroll. And that is one of the first classes that uh, people recommend that your kids take when they do a dual enrollment. So that's what she's going to be doing. So um, that is everything that I got from the good and the beautiful for our new school year. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Now I will have the good and the beautiful link down below straight to their website, as well as their kids YouTube channel that you guys can subscribe to. Definitely go support them. If you are thankful for the good and the beautiful and the resources they provide us, I'm really excited for all we're going to learn in our next school year. And I will have more curriculum videos coming for you guys by grade level very soon. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of that and all of our choices and everything as we head into another wondrous year of homeschooling. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys again really soon. Bye friends.